Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com, your boy is backing out and did it again. Today's topic is what are the best laptops for web developers on 2018? Your body and your mind. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go from the most affordable one to the most expensive one. All right, so let's get started. Number one, 2017 Acer 15-inch Chromebook. And the reason why this is such a good deal because it's super cheap and nowadays you can do most of the things that you was able to do in either Macs or Windows, you can do it through Chromebooks. This laptop I believe is only like $200, but it's very powerful, okay? And at any moment you can upgrade the memory, you can put more memory through SD card and it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's basically, to me, it's like the future. Number two, Apple's MacBook Pro 13 inch, the 2012 edition, okay? And the reason why this is such a great laptop is because nowadays it's very affordable. You can upgrade the hard drive, and not only that, you can upgrade the RAM. So it's a very good deal, okay guys? This is one of the reasons why a lot of people still using the older version MacBook Pros, not because they are more powerful than the other ones that are coming out, but because it gives you that freedom to upgrade your own computer and change the components inside of it, all right? And for what we're doing, we don't even need like a super powerful computer because for web development, in reality, all you're doing is writing text, okay? But you could max this out straight up, 16 gigabytes. I've seen people that hacked it that made it to 32 gigabytes and have like one terabyte SSD, like it's legit. Number three, the Asus Inspire 15 inch. That laptop is a power beast. You can buy it if you love Windows, that's perfect for you guys that love Windows, okay? But not only that, can you also install Linux in it? You can even put in Chrome OS if you wanted to. Guys, it's a very powerful computer and you can upgrade the components inside of it. So to me, that's a big plus because it's like, hey, if I buy a computer, I wanna be able to have the freedom to change it or even change the operating system or changing the RAM or changing the hard drive. Like it gives you that freedom, okay? So definitely check it out. Number four, Apple's MacBook Pro 2014 edition, the 15 inch, okay guys, listen, this is a beast. This is an i7. Uh, you could get it for 16 gigabytes of RAM. You could get it for 500 gigabytes of storage. But not only that, you can actually change the hard drive on this computer. This is one of the last ones that was able to do this. And people are holding on to this computer because it's a beast. To be honest with you guys, I have a brand new computer, 2016, 2017. And to be honest with you, that computer is actually better than the one that I have now, okay? So I would definitely say, hey, that's one computer that you could definitely get and it's worth the money. Number five, Apple's 15 inch MacBook Pro 2017 edition. Guys, this is the most expensive one, but this one, to be honest with you guys, is definitely worth it because it's a powerhouse. It's future proof. This is one of those computers that you buy this computer. This is the computer that they're going to be using for the next five to 10 years. Okay. This is the same feeling I got when I bought a, a 2008 MacBook Pro, right? This is the same feeling I'm getting from this computer. This is the future. This is what they're going to stick with. So if you buy this computer, you know that any versions that come out for Mac OS or any new upgrades that they might throw out there, are going to be compatible with this computer. And this is the last laptop that I have on my list, and it's because it's the most expensive one. Now, it's up to you if you say, hey man, do I wanna buy a computer this expensive when I have so many other options? But if you are thinking about something, hey, I want something future-proof, and I want my career as a developer to be more smoother than you know any of the other operating systems, so I would definitely say, 
go check it out. I'm going to put the links to each one of these laptops at the bottom, at the comments, at the description. So go ahead and check it out. All right, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and I wanna know what type of laptop you're using or what type of desktop you're using currently right now at this moment. Put it in the comments below and let us know. It's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com. This video is brought to you by codingface.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're gonna learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingface.com. Keep it real, keep it trill.